just got home from getting our morning steps in it's actually a really lovely day today so let's make some breakfast and then we can sit down and have a big chat my second or third cup of tea of the day. I have got an issue with tea. I'll show you my um, tea cupboard in a sec after this because sometimes you ask me what teas I drink, what my favourite brands are and all that stuff so I'll show you that in one sec. I wanted to have like a little bit of a chat about I suppose kind of what I've learned over the last few years of like research into what I'm eating, reading books, listening to podcasts and all of that kind of stuff. And I guess why I've made some changes or some tweaks to what I'm eating every day recently. I think since doing the six week challenge, I've obviously been a lot more active. Like I have always done my daily walks, but I've been doing my three workouts a week. And it's really got me thinking about making sure that I'm definitely getting enough of the things that my body needs. I say the big, big one is protein. That's the one that's changed the most. Like I'm really making sure to get a really great source of protein in with every single meal. And then also supplementing that a little bit. Like I've started using protein powder for the first time and honestly probably like five years and probably more. And I think the thing that really put me off is that so many proteins, like even the plant-based ones, are not organic and they have loads of like sweeteners and stuff in but this hemp protein that i'm using it does taste like grass i'm going to be honest but obviously it's just 100 percent organic hemp so it's like super natural and if you add enough stuff like if you make the smoothie i made this morning you honestly can't taste the hemp at all well i can't taste the hemp anyway it's like really sweet and really yummy and then also with my snacks i will show you later but i've started having this like um it's not a protein yogurt it just happens to be high in protein and low in everything else like low in sugars and stuff um, so I'll show you that later. But yeah, just being a lot more mindful of the amount of protein I'm getting because I'm aware that I'm using my body a lot more in the six week challenge. And I just wanna make sure that I am fueling my body and all of that stuff. And also I'm being much better with taking my supplements like B12, which is really hard to get on a plant-based diet. Um, and then just ones that make me feel good, like iron, vitamin C, and all of the ones you saw this morning. I also take magnesium before bed, which is really good for your sleep, which is really good for everything else. Um, and yeah, I would say I've just been paying a lot more attention and trying to make sure that I'm not getting in a rut of eating the same meals like every day, because I can be like that. I can have the same breakfast every day, same lunch every day. So that's it. I'm gonna, oh, I'll show you my tea cupboard. 
Okay, welcome to my tea cupboard. I'm a big tea girl, as you can probably see from this. Also, you're too high up, so I can't see you. Pepper is such a good brand of teas because they don't bleach their tea bags and they're all organic, so I love Clipper. If you see me drinking a cup of tea, nine times out of 10, it will be a Clipper English breakfast or a Clipper English breakfast decaf. That is also a thing that's in there as well. Um, or it'll be rooibos or in the evening, anything herbal basically. And that's my little tea cupboard. Right now, I'm probably gonna have one of these. Okay, it's lunchtime. And for lunch today, I am going to make butter beans with quinoa and homemade almond pesto which sounds a bit weird but it's so good trust me um i basically just need to use up a whole bunch of ingredients i've got some quinoa i need to use and i've got loads of fresh basil that needs using as well it's freeze little feet on the floor that's the plan let's make it making pesto with almonds I would highly highly recommend I feel like it's the most kind of authentic flavor more so than when you make it with cashews and other types of nuts it really is a game changer I'm about to make my little yogurt sweet snack thing that I've been having recently let me show you the yogurt that I use so it's this one I'm not sure how you pronounce that brand um, we get it from the organic store. But hopefully other places sell it too. I call it a protein yogurt, but it's not like got any added protein. It's literally just 100% soya um, and it's organic. And I think it's just, yeah, it's soya, beans, water and live cultures. So again, this is really good for your gut health. And also power 100 grams, there's five grams of protein, which is not loads, but it's something. And there's also no sugar in this which is great although i add honey to mine so kenny eats this with grapefruit that's one of his favorite snacks so yeah let me show you my new favorite little snack show you what's in my fridge it's not that interesting but just in case anyone is interested so let me show you so pretty much everything that we eat is in the bottom of the fridge here like the rest of the fridge is pretty much empty obviously most of what we cook with is fresh fruits and veggies so in these drawers we've got like our washed ready to eat veg we've got beetroot peppers cabbage um that is a round courgette pretty cool um aubergine we've got mushrooms we've got broccoli and then in this one is more washed and prepared veg so we've got a couple of sweet potatoes carrots leek and a butternut squash um, and a chili actually at the back there and then in the bottom of our fridge we've got kind of all the packaged i say packaged but just stuff that's not loose um we have got some rainbow chard we've got kale we've got asparagus that's a bit more kale and then we've got some celery and rosemary down there and the rest of the fridge it's just stuff like yogurts kimchi tofu and then things that we've opened like there's some baked beans of kenny's there there are some chickpeas of mine and then kenny's got eggs this is Rue's food that we make for her most of our food is either in these bottom two drawers or it's like pantry food like quinoa pasta rice all of that stuff like for example in our pantry this is just full of like all different types of lentils quinoa rice our cans of beans and coconut milk and then down here we've got all of my powders and stuff for smoothies this is probably one of my favorite brands um if you're looking for things like maca powder cacao powder um, and this seed crunch that i use it's always this brand which you can just get 
in Sainsbury's, I think. And then in this store, for example, we've got all of my vitamins that I take. Together Health is definitely a brand I'd recommend for vitamins, supplements, that sort of stuff. Seed is incredible for gut health. I don't think there's a better brand out there. I completely forgot I had these in here, actually. I need to start taking them. And then Neil Jard is amazing for things like Amigas and that are good for like your skin and things like that. You can pop into your smoothies. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you inside our cupboards, like some of the stuff that we keep in bulk, what brands we use and that stuff and kind of how we stock our fridge. Our fridge always looks like depressingly empty, but that's pretty much fully stocked. Like I did a food shop yesterday. It's just because everything we eat is like grains and fresh fruits and veggies, obviously. I'm making one of my favorite recipes. I've had it once already this week and I'm having it again because I ate something at the weekend that's just like thrown off the balance in my stomach somehow. Like I've been having tummy aches, which I never get. So I've been making this turmeric tofu kind of broth because turmeric's obviously really, really great for being anti-inflammatory. I'm hoping this will help to just soothe it and calm that down. I've also been having lots of kimchi this week as well for the same reason, because that's so good for your gut health. Like anything fermented is really good for that. It's like a really lovely warming turmeric and coconut broth. And then it's got tofu, green veggies um, and rice noodles. And it's so good. I'm gonna go get changed out of white. Do not cook this in white. Not a good idea. <laughs> never lets me down definitely try it and let me know if you love it as much as i do i would eat that honestly every night it's such like a comfort meal for me but it's also obviously packed full of things that are really really good for you which is amazing but i'm about to go get a shower chill out relax for the rest of the evening might even treat myself to a bath i don't think i've had a bath since we lived in this house kenny's away tonight so it's just me so i might treat myself to bath i've been bitten on the walk today so other than my montezuma dark chocolate buttons which will definitely be coming out as soon as i sit down to watch tv or read or whatever i do in a sec um that is everything i have eaten today 100 percent will not go a day without my chocolate buttons though so they'll be happening i hope you found that helpful if you are doing the challenge with me i hope it's going well i am obsessed with our facebook group i'll leave a link to it down in the description but just like the stories that i hear from you and like the pictures and the inspiration i get i just love it and it just keeps me going with this whole challenge thing i think this coming week is week five so we're almost almost there um which is so exciting and i'm just loving every second anyway i'm gonna stop talking go get a shower so i hope you have the best week ever and i will catch up with you next sunday